Hello and thank you for joining us today again for another tutorial and today we're going to talk about the uh, uh, the um, ID 42 error that uh, I got this because what happened is that I deleted the, uh, the default user that came with uh, the sample content of the Joomla template so when I deleted the, uh, the user the templates looking for that user in order to send uh, the automated responses to orders. So what we need to do is to actually make an, an edit inside of the PHP my admin in order to change uh, the current user that we have now to um, the current user that we have now to so what you're going to do is that you're going to go over to your um, control panel Okay, and you're going to log into the back end. Go down to your PHP My Admin. Once you are in your PHP My Admin, you're going to select your database. So then, what you're going to do is that when you come into your PHP My Admin, you're going to select the database for your Joomla installation. If you aren't sure of exactly what the uh, database is, just go into your global configurations, server section, and down in your database name username, you'll see the name of your database. Okay, so you're going to go down and then you're going to select that database. And once you're there, you'll see a drop down of all the tables inside that a database. So now what we're looking for is that we're going to filter the database um, headers by users so because we just want to make an edit to the user so we, s we, we put in user we'll see the first uh, section where we have to edit we'll click on it okay But first, we, rec we recommend that you do a backup, of course. And uh, Akiba Backup is one of the best backup tools that you can find. Okay. So now what you're going to do is that you're going to go to your user section of your database after you back up your website. And then you're going to go down to the first super user that you can see and click on Edit. you'll go to the value and now remember this value 328 because that's the same value that you're going to change again you're going to change that to 42 go down click go then you're going to come down to user group map and you're going to see 328 again you're going to click it edit and you're going to change that to 42 and click go now when you go back to your website the problem is gone and that's how you fix error 42 once again thank you very much for watching another tutorial by Inzinc.com and my name is Michael Hanlon